Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 City Living Part is, um, 37, I think. I think it's 37, but in the last part, Claire left a man at the altar. It was Claire's wedding, and she left Diego at the altar. She said, nope, not today. And so this morning, this is like the next morning, Madison is vomiting because she is in fact pregnant. She hasn't told Luna yet. She's kind of been avoiding Luna all morning until she goes to school because this part is going to be about Madison, and Madison has some truths to tell some people. Um, Madison has decided that she's going to tell Charlotte that what the information that she has found. She's going to tell Charlotte um, that Aubrey had their father murdered. So go to high school. But Luna's gonna go to school, and as soon as she leaves, Madison, after she goes to do that or whatever, Madison is gonna get herself ready. She's gonna freshen up, you know, because she's vomiting and cleaning the toilet, and Luna is going to study hard. No, I don't want you to be uncomfortable, but such is life. Oh, well. Okay, just freshen yourself up. Actually, I want you to change and then freshen up. So, outfits, change. Change into your regular outfit. Does she look really pregnant in that outfit? No, it covers it. Okay, freshen up. And then you can freshen up and then we'll leave. Yeah, She's just, she feels very questionable about the decision she's making. You know, she might be talking to herself or whatever. Claire, are you still writing? Yeah, because Claire needs to up her writing skill to level 7 to get um, a promotion. And also, we need for her aspiration to be complete. We have to kiss somebody at the Romance Festival, master the singing skill, win a contest at GeekCon, and live in an apartment worth $100,000. <sighs> That's a lot. That's a lot to do in less than 10 parts. That's a lot. So I feel like we might be able to kiss somebody at the Romance Festival and maybe win a contest at GeekCon, but I don't think the living in an apartment worth $100,000 is a practical thing. So we probably won't um, complete Claire's aspiration, but this will be like the closest we've ever come to completing an aspiration in an LP. <laughs> it's sad. Okay, come on. You can do this. Okay, so... Time to... No, you're not going to take the death book with you. The death book is for later, sweetie. The death book, you know, it's for later. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, but let's go to the Vanderwoods and household with... Oh, I guess she's not available for travel. But go with her, because she... Has she told Claire? I'm not sure if she's told Claire. She might have. I don't know. I think, I think the only reason she's telling Charlotte is because Charlotte might be able to convince Blake. But I feel like Charlotte won't tell Blake for a bit. You know, she's trying to like... Because Charlotte's very logical. She's very methodical. She thinks about things. She thinks about how those the actions that she takes will affect people. Um, you can build skill, writing, and then how do I get up here? How do I get up here? How do I get up in this house? Just go up. I honestly didn't know how to get up in this house. How do I get in? Be buzzed in. Okay, I was about to be, I was about to be like, how do I get in? Oh, Geek Con. No, be buzzed in. Thanks. Um, apparently... I didn't put a roof on this. My bad, I'll do that later. Or I'll have them move, I don't know. Okay, where's Charlotte? Where is Charlotte? Fine. I'll go tell him. Um. Friendly. 
We're gonna tell him like a dramatic story. I think a dramatic story would be. No. Where's like a dramatic story? Um. Gossip. Sure. I'm afraid he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna burn, so I have no idea who he is. Um. Crap. Um. Testing. Cheats on. BB.enable free build. Okay. I'm not letting him die. I'm not letting him die. This is not what I wanted. This is not what I planned. Um, how do I put a roof? Um, I don't do roofs. Like this. This. But then like up here. And like ant down. Yeah, like that. Okay. That and then um this and then how do I do like this? I want like the lining. Um oh my god. Um whatever. Whatever, I don't care. It has a roof. He's not gonna burn. Hopefully. Is he gonna stop? Okay, okay. He, like, started to, like, cringe or whatever, and I was scared. I was scared. <laughs> I was about to be like, no, this is not how this part is gonna go. He, Drake does not get to die in this LP. Charlotte has been through enough to be with him. He does not get to die. I'm honestly, like, where is she? Charlotte? Mm, but yeah, she's gonna tell him what she found. Are you gonna... Tell him. You're not gonna... Oh my god, Sims 4. Why do you have to freeze? Sims 4! Sims 2 was better, let's just be honest. Sims 2 and Sims 3, they were better. Sims 3 had some glitches, but Sims 3 was better. <laughs> and Sims 2, I don't know what was... I don't know what... I don't know what I can say about Sims 2 that was bad. Um, share photos. What? Uh, go to work. Stop. Stop. Stop with your creepy vampire thing. Okay, so she's gonna show him some pictures that she had. And it was the things that Blake... I mean, I changed his name. I changed his name. Um, I forgot what I changed it to. I think it was still a B name, but I changed it so we wouldn't be confused with the brother. What's his name? Brandon. What Brandon? He sent her some pictures. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so he will relay that information to Charlotte. Um, okay, bye. Time for me to go. I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna go. Oh, we could go to the graveyard. We could go to the graveyard, because, like, we're, like, kind of selective on who we're telling this to. So, you know, Charlotte, because she'll be able to convince Blake. And we're gonna go talk to the dad's grave. Um, it's in Willow Creek, my bad. We're gonna go to the graveyard. And we're not gonna go with anybody. I think Charlotte might be at work, maybe? I don't know. I think that's where she is, but... Oh, well. <sighs> oh my god, I cannot believe. We know who the killer is. We know who the killer is. And now we just have to... Kind of bide our time because you know she's pregnant you know we can't really like do anything you know she's pregnant she could endanger her baby and even though she doesn't really want this baby you know she's not gonna like do anything to harm it or whatever karen emma i 
Akira. <laughs> bah. What does that say? R.I.P. Akira Kibo, loving father, got what he deserved. Lily Fang, beloved mother, wife, and friend. Aaron Winslow, beloved father, son, and husband. Emma Clark, beloved daughter, mother, and friend, taken too soon. Hmm. So she's gonna mourn. Because she has some vindication. She wants her revenge. She's Madison Winslow. So do not vomit on that grave. Okay, are you gonna, like, mourn or something? Can you not? Can you be a bit sad? I don't want you to be sad. Or clean. I want you to be sad. Okay, so I want a picture. Perfect. <laughs> She's like burst into tears. Okay, you can you can stop. Now I'm gonna go have her sit in this church. I'm gonna have her sit in a pew. Hopefully not next to any of these people. Holy now. And we're gonna sit in this pew. Okay, Claire's off to work. Good for her. She can work hard. And, you know, Madison, she's just coming to terms with the fact that she has been accused time and time again of her father's murder. And she finally found out why she has had to suffer all of these indignities. <laughs> And it's her fake ex-best friend, Aubrey, or Audrey, Penelope, my bad, Penelope, it was Penelope, Penelope got a makeover too, and eventually we're gonna, gonna go confront her, eventually we will, I just don't know when the time would be right to confront the hoe, okay, so, Madison, she spent like an hour or two here. You know, she said all that she's needed to say. She's done whatever. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot I put the insane asylum down there. Um, what can we do? Because we still have to figure out, fill like the rest of this part. Where's Starbucks? Did I put a Starbucks down? Maybe like in Windenburg? No, did I not put anything? I put a bowling alley in Windenburg. Um, is there one in Newcrest? I think there's a Starbucks in Newcrest. Yes, there is. So we're gonna go to Starbucks. And then we might go visit our mother. <laughs> because even though she would not, she would not tell Grace. Like, that Penelope did it, she wouldn't. She wouldn't. Her mother has been through too much, and her mother would ask questions on how she found this information out. And, you know, it just wouldn't be the ideal situation. So, she's not going to tell her. Grace will find out when <laughs> the media finds out. She'll find out later. So, um, I'm going to sell all these mood lights, because I don't need them anymore. Claire's not going on any dates for right now. Okay, so you can stop. <laughs> okay, so she is gonna get her table. Actually, she's gonna get one outside. It's a nice day. Request a table. Dag, dag. Is that Sophia? Is Sophia spying on me? Sophia is spying on me. Lovely. It's turning into Vampires 2.0. Remember for, like, the whole, see, the whole ten parts of Vampires, um, we kept seeing, like, Victor Fang, like, spying on me? Like, fi spying on Charlotte? Like, that was creepy. Like, he just kept spying on her. It was the creepiest thing in the world. A second egg. Wait, you're fine. Um, no, no, don't give up the table. Order. She about to go vomit. She's about to go vomit. And who else is here? Mason Landgrab. Okay, so Madison has vomited. She's good. 
Now we're going to have some food. Because, you know, she's hungry. So we're going to have some chamomile tea. You know, it's a stressful day. And then for food, we're going to have... She's a vegetarian, so... I think we're going to have... Um, a caprice salad. And no dessert. You know, we're, we're good. <laughs> you know, she's just, you know, eating alone to, like, clear her head. <sighs> you know, she's, like, trying to figure out, like, how to best handle this situation. And even though she does want revenge, she, she has to plan it out if she's going to do it the same way she dealt with Akira. And, you know, that's turned out well, so you might as well. But she has to, like, plan it out for, like... Because, you know, she's not going to do it while she's pregnant. That's just irresponsible mothering. To, you know, kill somebody while you're pregnant, you know? It's just... It's just not how things are done. Oh, hey, Yessa. Bye. Is she talking to herself? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I said this, but I gave her the insane trait. Madison's insane. Madison Winslow has, like, kind of snapped. She still, like, does things the way they're done. And, like, she's still very correct in about how she goes about herself. But, like, she, she doesn't, she kind of doesn't care. She is an emotional roller coaster. Madison Winslow is insane. And I just feel like that is going to have to come into play at one point. Is she coloring? Madison is coloring on a placemat because she is insane. Madison's insane. Oh, hey, Blake. We're not going to say anything. He's just going to... Oh, my God. He's going to judge us for coloring. Uh, Penelope. We're not going to... Ooh, should we fight with Penelope? I'm going to go fight with Penelope. I'm going to go... I'm going to go have an argument with her. Because I'm insane. I'm insane. And she acted like she don't even know me. Stop waiting for me. I don't care. Just go fight her. Fight her. Madison, I don't care. We're gonna get thrown out of this restaurant, but we're gonna, we're gonna have, we're gonna say what we need to say. Acting like you don't know me, ho. Jesus, what was that? Sophia, stop kicking over trash cans. It makes loud noises. And then, so, I'm just gonna picture and then what else are we gonna do we're gonna meme we're gonna mock her outfit meme argue about politics meme throw a drink at her and then meme we're gonna shove her I'm gonna say gonna say anything nope Throw a drink at our Madison. Call this hoe out. Call this murderous hoe out. We're not going to say anything, though. We're just going to argue. And he's going to be in the background. So, Madison learned that Penelope is materialistic. Go throw a drink in her face. Madison, throw a drink in her face. You're about to throw Do it. Throw a drink in her face. Throw a drink in her face, Madison. I know you can't. Madison. Oh my god, meme, throw drink, and then meme, shove her, and then that's how we get kicked out of this restaurant. Oh my god, I hate this. Okay, just throw a drink in her face. Throw the drink in her face. Please let this work. Honestly. Oh my god, you can see the crazy in her eyes. You can see the crazy in Madison's eyes. Oh my god. My girl. Um, this. Um, this. Oh crap! It never works when I want it to work. Whatever, we're gonna pretend that actually, you know. It got on her shoes. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. It screwed up her dress. Whatever. Madison, stop. Shove this hoe. Shove her. Madison! 
No, why is it? I hate The Sims 4. Let's be honest. I hate The Sims 4. It's so... Eh. They don't do what I tell them to do. I didn't ask you to chat with Penelope. I asked you to push her. Okay, so we've pushed Penelope. Finally. Ten years later. And is she gonna try and push me? Oh my god, they are just like their daughters. It is sad. They are just like their daughters. But this happened. Like, they were shoving each other at the lake. Oh my god. Okay, so we have been kicked out of this restaurant. We've been kicked out of Starbucks. You know, we threw a drink at somebody. We caused a scene in the middle of Starbucks. And we also got into a physical altercation. Although it was not a fight, we did in fact shove a girl twice. So we're going to go home now. And Sam, as you know, we're going to go home. Because, you know, that's not how things are done. And so we have to go home because we have been kicked out of Starbucks. And I think I'm probably going to end off this episode because I didn't really have a plan other than to tell Charlotte, you know. And, yeah, we have told Charlotte. Such is life, you know. We, Well, we haven't really told Charlotte. We told Drake to tell Charlotte. But I don't think, I feel like he might not tell her for, like, a bit. You know, he going to have to, he's going to have to take in this information, you know. And he might wait a bit to tell her. At least until, you know, the timing of the LP is right. You know, he's going to wait till the timing of my LP is correct to do this. And, come on, Sims, you can do this. Sims. Sims, I know you can. Thank you, Sims. Okay, so our crazy ass has been kicked out of Starbucks. Who is that? Is that Anaya? Yeah, that's Amaya. So, my crazy ass has been kicked out of Starbucks. Oh, my God. Madison. Madison. Madison is so problematic. But I love her. I love Madison. But that is going to be all for now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!